Diddy has been tampering with witnesses as he's sitting in the federal jail. Are we surprised about this? No. And this man wonders why he won't get a bond. Like, dude, you won't leave folks alone. How were you tampering with witnesses from jail, but you are trying to get a bond? Like, you have went for a bond three times. This is your fourth time requesting a bond, and you haven't gotten it. And you're tampering with witnesses? You wouldn't just, like, wait until you, like, exhausted all your resources and you think them folks is finna let you out listen unless you get a pardon dude you're not gonna see the light of day and if you get a pardon i feel like it will be a huge uproar anyway earlier this week did he used his kids to try to basically manipulate the public and the judicial system let's watch that happy birthday to daddy Happy birthday to Daddy. Happy birthday. Keep going. Happy birthday to Daddy. Keep going. Happy birthday to Daddy. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all so much. We, we love, love you, you too. So, love you, Papa. So I can't wait to see y'all. Yeah. Can't wait to and I just want to say I'm proud of y'all, I'm proud of y'all, especially the girls, I mean all of y'all, but just for being strong, thank y'all for being strong and thank y'all for being by my side and supporting me, I love y'all, I got the best family in the world, my birthday, I'm happy, thanks to y'all giving me this call, thank you very much, I love y'all. Love you all, can't she wait to see you in a couple of days. I'll see you in a couple of days. Say it again. What do you say? I love you too, baby. <laughs> Man, listen, your boy is really out here wilding. And I don't know if you guys heard about this huge lawsuit, but let's actually watch that too because we have a lot to catch up on, Diddy. Another civil lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. This one is seeking $5 million for an alleged armed confrontation dating back nearly 30 years. Our senior investigative correspondent, Aaron Katursky, is here with more for us. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Michael. Sean Combs is now facing nearly three dozen civil lawsuits. This latest one's a little different. It does not allege sex assault, but an assault with guns. If you use this morning, a man is suing Sean Diddy Combs for $5 million to compensate him for what he alleges was an armed confrontation. DeWitt Gilmore says he was leaving a New York City club in 1996 when Combs and his associates pulled up in a gold convertible and started taunting him with derogatory language and threats of violence. His lawsuit says the music mogul's associates flashed guns and shots were fired. Representatives for Combs did not immediately respond, but they have denied all of the other civil lawsuits that have alleged sexual assault. A woman who filed one of those has now revealed her identity after the judge rejected her request to remain anonymous. Candace McCrary was 19 and in college in Brooklyn when she alleges Combs sexually assaulted her after a photo shoot. This decision by this judge may have a chilling effect in that other people who want to go anonymous in their lawsuits against Sean Combs may think twice in terms of filing a lawsuit themselves. More money, more problems. It's just the way it is. And this morning, a former member of Combs' inner circle is speaking out. Me, I'm puffing St. Paul. Diddy's rap protege, Moses Shine Barrow, was with him and his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, the night a gun went off inside a Manhattan club. Diddy was acquitted in the case, but Shine was convicted of assault, sentenced to 10 years in prison, and deported to his native Belize. Shine telling Nightline co-anchor Byron Pitts Combs orchestrated for him to take the fall. Someone that was prepared to um, have me sit in jail for, I was facing 25 years, to totally destroy my career, destroy my life, rob me of my freedom to be a participant in that. Of course, it doesn't surprise me that he would be uh, accused of uh, the atrocious things that he is because, uh, you know, what he did to me and my family, you know, was to me demonic. Combs' representatives say Mr. Combs categorically denies Mr. Barrow's allegations, including any suggestion that he orchestrated Mr. Barrow to take the fall. They added he appreciates the path Mr. Barrow has pursued and wishes him continued success. You can hear more of the story in the documentary The Honorable Shine, premiering Monday, November 18th on Hulu. And as for Combs, he is still fighting for release on bail. There's hearing about that next week.
are we surprised about any of this? And the fact that his attorneys are saying, oh, he denies. Yes, he denies everything. He's a known liar. We know Diddy's a liar. Diddy has always been lying. Okay. The fact that he has lawsuits from minors, minors speaking to the, or they were minors at the time, speaking to the feds. And the fact that he is trying to tamper with witnesses from a jail cell. What is he not understanding? Y'all, I don't even know. This is wild.